or a face. Talked about the fact that you love to eat. I mean, this is. I know. I'm, you know, I like the stuff I eat. I like the vegetables, the fruits, the, the beans, the the stuff I eat now. I like. I, I like it. Do you call yourself a vegan now then? Well, I suppose I am if I don't eat dairy or meat or fish. You and know. You're doing this for your health. Is yes, that why you're doing it? Absolutely. Clinton's dietary guides, Dean Ornish, and this guy, Caldwell Esselstyn, at the Cleveland Clinic. Every month, the 77-year-old Esselstyn holds a day-long seminar, attracting doctors and heart patients from across the country, like Sharon Kintz, a retired private investigator from Canton, Ohio. Kintz had a heart attack six months earlier, after a coronary artery became completely blocked. What Kintz did next may surprise you. She turned the surgeon down cold, said no to open heart surgery, and decided to take a chance using food as medicine. Like President Clinton, Kintz has given up the food she loves, like butter and cheese. She's betting her life on Dr. Esselstyn's diet. She had a heart attack. Oh, yeah, I know. You know, Sharon. Oh, yeah. Doctors recommended she have an intervention. She's not doing it. Is there a downside? Could she be putting herself at risk? No. I think that's an excellent question. In hundreds of patients, data now going back over 20 years, and well, this most recent study about a decade, once they start eating this way, you will make yourself heart attack proof. Heart going back over proof. time, we know that if people are eating this way, they are not going to have a heart attack. Esselstyn has won some allies, like Dr. Terry Mason, chief medical officer at Cook County Hospitals in Chicago, and the city's former public health commissioner. We've eaten ourselves into a problem and we can eat ourselves out of it. Esselstyn thinks heart disease is completely preventable, no matter what sort of family history you have, simply by eating right. During his research, he came upon a stunning fact. Some cultures around the world, like people living in Central Africa, Papua New Guinea Highlanders, and Tarahumara Indians in Mexico, have virtually no heart disease. None. So what can we learn from them? You have some easy to remember adages about how people can decide what they should or should not eat. We know what they shouldn't eat. That is <laughs> oil, dairy, meat, fish, and chicken. What do we want them to eat? We want them to eat all those whole grains for their cereal bread and pasta, beans, vegetables, yellow, red, green, and fruit. Now, what particular vegetables do we want them to have? Bok choy, Swiss chard, kale, collards, collard greens, beet greens, mustard greens, turnip greens, napa cabbage, Brussels sprouts, broccoli, cauliflower, cilantro, parsley, spinach, and arugula, and asparagus. And I'm out of breath. <laughs> President Clinton's diet, no meat, no dairy, almost no oil, got me thinking how different what he's eating now as compared to what he used to eat and what most of us still eat. Make a habit of high-fat, high-cholesterol meals like this, and you can physically see the beginnings of heart disease. I was curious about the science behind Dr. Esselstyn's claims, so I dug up some of these peer-reviewed journals. They're small, just a handful of patients, but the results are pretty impressive. In one study here, patients on the Esselstyn diet and cholesterol-lowering medication had no heart attacks, had no coronary events of any sort after five years. And three-quarters of these patients actually saw their blockages get smaller. You're not talking about just reducing your chance of heart disease. You're talking about potentially re reversing heart disease. Oh, absolutely. The late wisdom is that once you, you develop these plaques, they're there. You're stuck with them. Try not to let them get worse. Is that faulty thinking? I think it's uh, absolutely faulty thinking. Here's a picture. Esselstyn likes to show of a heart patient with a blocked coronary artery. And here's that same patient after going on a plant-based diet. You see the way the blockage has almost disappeared? Sharon Kintz survived a heart attack a year ago after a coronary artery became completely blocked. Now she's counting on the Esselstyn diet to keep her from having another. Thankfully, your heart muscle function is normal. Kintz cardiologist Adnan Zaidi says, so far so good with the diet. It's a difficult sell, but you know, those who get onto it uh, have benefited from it without a question. Kintz is a true believer. So is former President Bill Clinton. And nowadays, they have a lot of high-powered company. All of these CEOs and former CEOs are either vegetarians or vegans. Would you call yourself healthy now? Well, I think I'm healthier than I was. You know, I'm, I lost 20-something pounds. All my blood tests are good. All my vital signs are good. And I feel good. And I actually have 
believe it or not, more energy. 